Welcome friends, today let's talk coolers. The folks at Yida Home sent me their Yida Motor mini fridge to test out. Now, I know it's tough to trust videos where the products are received for free, but I'm going to give you some cold hard data to draw your own conclusions from. So, first impressions. It's a very well packaged and protected fridge. It's also very small, which is made clear in the listing. And I did see they also offer a 160% larger unit for nearly the same price, so that might be something to consider. The tempered glass front is also a surprising touch of quality. The unit's also extremely lightweight, and the handle feels solid and natural to carry around. The door itself has a nice foam seal, and the latch feels solid, especially for being made out of plastic but you will probably need to slightly depress the latch to help with door closing, otherwise it's gonna take a little bit of a slam to get it to shut. One thing I wish they would have added would be rubber feet on the bottom. It would really help hold it securely on smooth surfaces like this table. Now this fridge is dual power and it's slightly more efficient while running in your vehicle. The household 120 volt input loses some efficiency as it has to be internally stepped down. To 12 volts DC. You'll also notice that this is a dual function cooler and heater. This is a thermoelectric Peltier fridge, not a compressor fridge, and we'll go over the pros and cons of this later in the video. Now you do need to leave an air gap around the back and sides of the unit for it to expel its heat. Also note that thermoelectric modules are solid state, meaning 100% silent, but for them to be efficient, you should really utilize either a very, very large heat sink or some sort of active cooling such as this 12 volt computer fan you can see in the back here. Unfortunately, that fan does cause some noise, so it's nothing outrageous, but you just, you can't consider it to be totally silent. For your own reference, here's a unedited audio from both my brand new compressor based mini fridge and this thermoelectric fridge. So you can see it's still pretty silent. Now before getting into testing, we need to glance through some important notes in the manual. And, da, 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 and number 13. The appliance is not suitable for permanent operation. Also, units cool contents down from approximately 25 to 36 degrees Fahrenheit below ambient temperature. They also make this perfectly clear in the Amazon listing. But let's test that out and see how it performs in the real world. Here we have it in my air-conditioned home office. And you can see it does a pretty good job of cooling down. But also note that if it's filled to capacity with drinks, it's gonna take a little bit longer to bring those down to temperature. We can also see the cooling is starting to plateau around 40 degrees or so, and this is after two hours. This would make their 25 to 36 Fahrenheit cooling claim perfectly accurate. But now I'll need you to change into shorts and grab a pina colada because it's time to test it in the van. Tonight in Southern California, it is still hot across all of the area. Here are some of the highs today and many of these records. 96 Anaheim, check that out. Big Bear, 89 degrees today. The big number came from Palm Springs at 120 degrees today. More heat is coming tomorrow. I left the temperature sensors and refrigerator inside the van for 45 minutes to allow the temperatures to equalize. Now let's set it up and run our two hour time lapse. Well, that was 
disappointing, yet well within the manufacturer's specifications. For comparison, let's run a two hour time lapse on the compressor based mini fridge. nearly 100 degrees of cooling in a two hour time frame. It's precisely this reason that I cannot recommend this unit for car camping or van life. You would have to have the AC running constantly inside the vehicle to make it a viable long term food storage solution. Also there is no cooling thermostat, you heard that right, the cooler runs 24-7. In classic Tim fashion, I ran the numbers and this unit would cost more to run than a full size fridge freezer combo. But let's be honest, van camping and very specifically constant use are not what these were manufactured for. The appliance is not suitable for permanent operation. Why don't you join me on a trip into my past life as an outside salesperson? Let's throw on some khakis and get a respectable haircut. My office was often my vehicle. That meant even in Yuma, Arizona, where a third of the year is spent in the triple digits, the inside of my car rarely exceeded 80 degrees. It was always running. This unit would have been perfect for those work trips. Even thinking further back to any long road trip I've been on, this unit would have been a nice investment. So let me just say this, don't consider this a refrigerator. Your expectations will not be met. No, instead think back to any time in your life where you've used one of these, and now upgrade it to this. Also worth mentioning is their dual pull dual throw switch which reverses the current flow through the Peltier module. Yes, your cooler has just become an easy bake oven. What you would do with this information, I have no idea. Anyhow, Yada Home gave me a discount code for anyone interested. That's posted in the description. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these units. Did I miss anything? Was my presentation biased? Have you used Peltier modules in any of your projects? They're fun little things. Anyway, I hope this video was informative. Please consider subscribing for more interesting content, it truly helps me out, and most importantly, stay cool.